Hey, what's up everybody? It's Drake at the Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge with KDWB and I got Tate McRae with me. Hello, Hello. how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm so amazing. Welcome to the Twin Cities. Thank you. Are you, you I know you're from Canada, so are you used to the cold? Oh my gosh, but it, this was a bit of a shocker. This one was, I mean, yeah. we, we came like straight from LA. Well, so, um, it's, yeah, it's freezing. It's kind of crazy. It was like, it was really warm, and then, like, Mother Nature was like, you know what? <laughs> we're, gonna... we're gonna get really cold <laughs> for Jingle Ball. Like, so, super cold. Yeah, so that's exactly what happened. But I want to dive right into this. Okay. Because you are newly famous, and I'm kind of curious. I usually ask this with every kind of, like, new up-and-coming artist that are new to fame and whatnot. What is that like? Like, you went from walking around to now being recognized on the street. Like, how do you deal with that? Um, it's, I think it's weird because, you know, a lot of my music kind of like really took off during the pandemic when I was yeah. stuck inside my house. Mm -hmm. So I think it was, it was a big shift. Like I just, mentally I didn't realize like that people knew my songs at all to like going to festivals and knowing that like a whole bunch of people did was like super right. shocking for me. Yeah. And I know I saw videos because you were performing at Dallas and I saw there was tons of videos of people just holding up signs and whatnot. And it was <laughs> yeah. so awesome seeing uh, you with the fans and whatnot, so you must be really big into like taking pictures with fans and getting to know them and whatnot. I'm oh my god, I, I love them! Like they're like my best friends. I'm That's very, awesome. I'm very, very close with my fans. Kind of tying into that, with that being fame, and I wanted to ask you this question too: What was your biggest spend when you got your first like big paycheck for music? What was like the biggest one? I mean, okay, I honestly don't splurge on things. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like a big. I like to invest my money. <laughs> Absolutely, that's smart though. That's smart. Not a people. Not a lot of people are like that. I, like, I got. I got my first apartment, and I like. I now like pay for everything on my own, which is like a big step. That's awesome. After high school, but um, no, I haven't like super splurged on anything yet. Yeah, that's awesome. See, me personally, like, if I had a big paycheck like that, I would just be <laughs> so stupid with it. Like, what? How do you? You obviously you hit on like you want to be smart with it. Like, yeah, that's awesome. Thank good you. For you. Thanks, good for you for wanting to invest. And all that. Thank so, you. Going on tour with Shawn Mendes. Talk to me <laughs> yeah. about that. How did that all come about? I honestly have no idea how that came about. I just like remember he like started following me on TikTok one day, mm -hmm. and I'm like, what? what? Was, wait, hold on. Back <laughs> I'm up. like, what, what was that like when you saw that? Was that just insane? Or? Well, when you're like stalking a celebrity, <laughs> and it says follow back, yeah. it's a very crazy moment. I can imagine. So I call my manager, and I'm like, what is going on? And then he was like, we got some moves for you. And then uh, they all like got on and announced it to me. And then, um, yeah, I like met Sean like a month later and he was like the sweetest, so. That's awesome. Did, w before meeting him, were you like super nervous about doing this tour? Are you still nervous? About oh my God, tour? of course. I mean, he's like one of my biggest idols. Yeah. Um, I'm like very honored just because, you know, playing arenas is obviously like a huge dream of mine. Um, and then, you know, just to see like our faces on the same like you know, pictures and stuff, yeah. it's, it's really cool. Absolutely, that's awesome. I Personally, I can't wait. I'm gonna be sure to go to that tour. It's gonna <laughs> be an amazing you. tour. It's Thank gonna be you. Awesome. I did have a question I wanted to ask you about, it's a little bit of a lame question. It kind of ties into like the fame thing that I was mentioning before. Okay. If you could be incognito for a day and nobody knew uh, who you were, like what would you, what would you do? What would you do? Like go anywhere, do whatever you wanted. You could be incognito, what would you do? I mean, I can still go places. <laughs> you can. I mean, I feel like I would. Um, I mean, I feel like if if you like the worst thing ever is getting recognized when you like look so shitty. Yeah. Like that's just like the worst feeling ever. Oh, absolutely. And that happens like to me a lot. Hangover, hangover look. I always like get stuck down. in like my worst moments <laughs> that like people want to take pictures with me. Yeah. I would just like look super bad and just like go incognito for a day. I gotcha. I yeah. gotcha. That's awesome. Well, everybody, Tay McRae, uh, good luck on performing. Jingle Ball, are you nervous about it? I'm excited. I'm excited to watch Pitbull. <laughs> Dude, Pitbull's gonna be my favorite. That'll I'm be crazy. so pumped to see him. Mr. 305. Tay McRae uh, at the Mercedes Benz Interview Lounge with KDWV.